Hi, my name is Diego Gaz, and I'm an electrical engineer at the Physical Oceanography Division here at AOML in Key Biscayne, Florida. Uh, for today's Q&A, I'll be answering some questions about the Underwater Glider Project. So the gliders in our fleet are entirely buoyancy driven, which means that they don't use an active propulsion system to navigate through the water. What they do instead is that they have an oil-filled bladder pump, um, which can help control the volume and thus the density of the glider to uh, perform dives and climbs in the ocean. Uh, with fixed wings, the glider can also use these movements in tandem with to control a horizontal movement across the ocean itself. Uh, the glider also has an internal mass shifter, which is the battery itself, which it can spin or slide back and forth inside the glider here to perform pitch down, pitch up, uh, left and uh, right um, rolls and turns as well. Um, and the glider uses then predetermined compass uh, targets to help with, with all these uh, movements to help navigate the water and maintain its course over long periods of time. So in addition to temperature and salinity, which are important for hurricane forecast models, uh, gliders can also observe other important uh, environmental uh, parameters, such as the, the oxygen concentrations within the ocean. Uh, gliders can be outfitted with a variety of sensors, such as current profilers, to also observe uh, water transport in the ocean as well. Because the glider is very quiet, um, the glider can also be outfitted with acoustic devices for wildlife monitoring as well. So the glider's internal electronics and battery and everything else is housed inside an aluminum pressure housing. And that aluminum pressure housing is actually inside a hollow fairing right here, which is made out of fiberglass. Uh, the design of this glider is uh, made so that the glider can perform uh, much more efficiently and navigate much more easily through the water. We've had one documented case where we've recovered a glider with a shark tooth stuck inside it, so we can confirm that a, gli uh, a glider was sought after as prey and a shark took a bite out of it only to realize it made a mistake and left it alone after that. Um, the dive results that we've gotten back from the gliders when, the, when we're interpreting their data have suggested that we might have had some, some wildlife or sargassum hitch a joy right onto the glider before they f roll off or fall off. So it is pretty likely that marine life does encounter or swim by the glider. Um, it's, it's pretty hard not to notice it. Fortunately, gliders are very slow um, in our fleet and they usually average around 10 centimeters per second or around half a mile per hour um, at, when they travel through the ocean. So they're usually out swam by a lot of marine wildlife so just they can't get harmed by them in, in any way. So the nominal depth for our gliders is rated for 1,000 meters, um, but we usually have them sent down to 900 meters, which takes about four hours to complete. Uh, when a hurricane or tropical system starts passing through the glider network, uh, what will happen is that we start having the gliders perform 500 meter dives, which takes around two hours. Uh, this, there's a two-part reason for this. One is that it allows us to get more data into our hurricane models and uh, more often for heavier sampling. And two, it just shows us that changes in the ocean are due to the passing of the hurricane uh, itself and not from the glider just traveling um, from one point to the next. Here our team will deploy and pilot 10 of our own gliders from our own fleet as well as deploy a number of gliders from our partner institutions such as the US Navy and the IOOS. We strategically deploy our gliders from the Caribbean Sea and North Atlantic in regions that hurricanes typically travel through. Uh, and intensify in. Um, and because the glider has no active propulsion um, system in place and are operated very efficiently from the question that I answered previously about that, they can remain in, in the regions of interest for months at a time.